This video is sponsored by ASUS. What's up, guys? We're talking Sony A7R5. Now, myself and Zaki actually went to a motorcycle show, tested it out in low light performance, seeing how it tracks on motorcycles, how it detects them, how it handles in low light, eight stops image stabilization. Then we took it to an arcade to try out the autofocusing. Why an arcade? A lot of lights, a lot of distractions to see how well it picked up people. You know, little spoiler alert, it blew our minds. If you wanna know what I'm recording on right now, it is the Sony A7R5 8K 25P. ISO set at 640. This is absolutely beautiful video quality. A lot of people are saying this is not a video camera. I'm going to disagree. I'm gonna say this is a pretty damn good video camera. As a matter of fact, after this a short clip, we'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like in 4K 50 as well with pixel bidding to see if you can tell the difference. Anyway, enjoy what we experienced with the A7R5. Dude, that lady in the mask with the green shirt is getting the eyeball. Come on. Dude, this is not even funny anymore. This might be the best autofocus I've seen in a mirrorless camera right now. I mean, I'm used to Sony being good, and I'm used to Canon being good, and Nikon is also really good right now, especially with the Z9. This has got a separate processor just for the autofocus, and it's AI, so it learns. That's what Sony's saying. This thing is grabbing on to eyes and people where I've never seen a camera do this before. Holy shit. Man, things have changed. He's doing a sniper pose. You don't need to do that, man. The Ibis is good enough. Just shoot. Zachy's experiencing what I'm experiencing right now. It is this good. I thought a lot of these reviewers are just full of BS, you know, like normally, you know, some are Sony fanboys. I get it. I like Sony too, but some of them really get into this. But this autofocus is that good. I love the feeling of the click. Yes. The shutter is so mechanical. It's yes. Like, it's like typing on a really nice keyboard. Yes. And the sound too. But do you see the focusing? It's, it's tech. And this makes it so incognito. So it's great for super fun. I mean, it's not profile, but... <laughs> Let's get out of the arcades. Let's go check out some bikes. All right, and of course, because I mean, now Speedway Hour happening tomorrow. You can choose cars. Well, you can uh, check out the YouTubers. Cars, uh, trains. And, uh, different subjects right here, right? In the Gymkhana, the Carnival Gymkhana. So you can uh, try it. R1M. Testing the new camera, right? Yeah, A7R5. It just grabs it, man. It feels more solid. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the way the construction is because it's got this basically fully articulating screen, but it just feels very solid. This screen right here, it's the best thing Sony's put out on a camera in years. Look at this. Tilt it this way, down like that. Rotate it. We can do everything with this damn thing. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. EVF is insane. It's a 9.44 million dot EVF. It's bright, it's clear. I mean, it's dark here. I look in this, it looks, feels like it's like daylight almost. It's so bright in this thing. I don't even, I, can, I don't know if I can show it to you. Can you get the camera close to it? It's really bright. This is a fantastic EVF. You guys can probably tell it's... One over five and it's tack sharp. Zachy, when is the last time you've used a Sony camera one over five and got a sharp shot without a tripod? It doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. They've finally done it. They've given us the IBIS we have been waiting for. On 1 over 5 at f1.4, my ISO is 250. I'm going to get a clean shot in low light. Hey, Barry. In this situation, what do you think my shutter speed is to get you sharp? Stable 1 over 100. Take a look at the shot. Tell me what you think. Oh. You're sharp, right? Oh, uh, yeah. One over 10. Oh my God. <laughs> Holy shit. Now, you're still going to get a little bit of noise. It's low yeah. light. I'm putting, I'm, you're in backlight on yes, this as well. Exactly. And I'm still getting him sharp. So, Barry, time to shift over to Sony. Okay, now change, now change camera already. It's time to change camera already. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, <laughs> impressive, right? I wasn't expecting that with this camera. I was seeing some of the reviews that some of you guys have seen as well, hearing about the uh, IBIS in this, that it's that much better. One over 10 with a 135, handheld and sharp. This could be Sony's best photo camera to date. I'm gonna say that it is right now, but you know what that means? The Alpha One Mark II, whatever they're gonna call it, 
Holy cow, that thing's gonna be a beast. How are you gonna decide? I wouldn't, I'd be screwed. This video is brought to you by ASUS. Check out the ASUS ZenBook 14X OLED Space Edition, commemorating the 25th anniversary of the first ASUS laptop sent into space. Not only does it offer a space exclusive design, but it's even worthy of going where no man has gone before with its space grade durability. It even comes with a 3.5 inch OLED companion Zen Vision display, and you will have a ball of a time taking in the views with a 16 by 10 4K OLED Nano Edge Pantone validated 14 inch display. So as you just saw right there, this camera is really impressive. Honestly speaking, this is probably my favorite Sony camera when it comes to photography to date. Now, we shot in RAW. Now, there is no RAW conversion in Lightroom as of yet, so we had to convert it in TIFF, but the colors coming out of this, I had to do very minimal editing to get to the colors I wanted. And usually with Sony cameras, that takes a little bit of work, but not with the a7R5. Now, right now, I'm actually recording in 4K 50p with that pixel bidding that everybody's talking about. And let me ask you a question. Honestly speaking, how does the image quality look? I'm using the same lens, the same 24 to 70 f2.8 GM2 lens from Sony. How does this image quality look? It is stunning out of this camera. Even with pixel binning, it's going to look good. Sony knows what they're doing. I see a lot of reviewers out there talking about this stuff going like, look, it's got pixel binning hair and this and this and that. Let me tell you something. When you get the compression of YouTube and Facebook and Instagram, let's say a movie theater, yeah, that's when you're gonna notice these things. But on this format, you're not. Anyway, I digress. This camera is fantastic. It doesn't have 4K 120, but outside of that, this is a very formidable camera for videographers and for photographers out there. And it's my favorite Sony camera to date, I think, even surpassing the Alpha One. This autofocusing chip is friggin' phenomenal. Anyway, those are my thoughts on the camera. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you looking to pick up an A7R5? Any questions, I'll try to answer them for you. If you like this video, check out more of our reviews right here.